Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be looking at using contrast paint on Stormtroopers. Now if you're on like Facebook groups and everything, like contrast paints are absolutely everywhere and people are posting various pictures and all that kind of stuff but I thought I'd just do a video because I was personally interested in this um, and it's to look at the white on Stormtroopers specifically. Obviously there will be other Imperial units you can use this on etc. Um, now I will be posting better pictures and videos and stuff like that. This is one of them um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use four different Stormtroopers with four different primers essentially. So the first one I'm going to use is I'm going to paint a white primer which is like a pure white. The second one I'm going to use is a Corax white and then the other two are the new base colors which I have here in my hand which is Gracia and Wraithbone. Now those two Stormtroopers were primed Gracia, not Gracia, um, Korax White by uh, Ellis from uh, Legion Command if you want to go check, it there out, check him out. Um, and then I've painted over with the Gracia or the Wraithbone. Um, now you might see mold lines and stuff like these. These aren't necessarily the main troopers I use. These are ones I've not got around to doing. Um, but yeah, you might see that. And then literally I'm going to use three colours on them, pretty much. And the first main colour is going to be the Contrast Apothecary White, which the astute of you might notice is actually pretty damn grey. And um, yeah, it's quite, quite grey. When I saw it, I was quite shocked at how grey it was. Um, I'm also going to do the black in the Contrast Black Templar. And um, I'm actually going to probably dry brush it, well I am going to dry brush it, with the white scar because I don't have the pixelated tear white or whatever it is from GW uh, but I'm going to dry brush it with white. So first thing I did obviously I got the four models um, all just in the main coats and uh, we're going to just whack on the um, apothecary white and uh, I just, you know I really did just whack it on I didn't try to do it just in the recesses or anything like that um, it literally just goes straight on on all of the the all of the undercoats now for the pure white um, i gotta say at this stage it was probably my favorite because um it was recessing gray in the recesses the highlights were more white than what the others end up being and uh yeah obviously it turns it sort of turns the whole thing a little gray for sure um but we'll come to that in a moment but yeah for the pure white i'm a painter white i thought it was quite good and then for the um what's it called Corax white uh, Corax white because <laughs> it's already quite gray it didn't actually do a whole lot of like uh, recessing or anything like that um, I actually think I possibly could have skipped this step for the Corax white and sort of a little bit for the same for the gray seer and um, they're quite the Corax white and the gray seer were very similar in grayness and um, just putting over the apothecary white over it didn't really recess it too much i think what I, what I might have been doing is possibly better using a watered down um normal oil and then doing the dry brush which i ultimately do uh, just because as i said the recesses and stuff like that not particularly much darker but they, they did do something just not it was the, the effect just wasn't particularly very high now the wraith bone's interesting because i think the difference between the gracie and the wraith bone is gracie is meant to be for like your blacks whites and that kind of color and your wraith bone sort of seems to be more the um the natural color it's a bit warm it's a bit more cream uh, a bit more yellow basically and um weirdly i like this but i'm not necessarily sure it's the best for white um because it, it may you sort of have like cream then with a gray going over it like it looks fine um and i sort of like the yellowy creamish tone to the stormtrooper for whatever reason um i don't know yeah it sort of looks a little bit more natural and i think that's the whole point with the wraith ball is that it looks a little bit more natural um yeah so that was it that was the base color now when i looked at that i was like well what i just said the white looked probably the best at the moment because it had white highlights and gray recesses i was like per perfect um so i initially i was gonna i was like oh, i'll do the black and um, but as i was doing the black i was like well actually if i look at all of this it's a bit too gray for my liking and um, i wouldn't particularly be happy with just um you know a base color and then an apothecary white i think it looks a little bit weird it looks a little bit too grey and I'm not that interested. Um, it, it's not what I'd want to do. So what I did was I got, um, well, I don't know what white, what white did I get? It's White Scar. We can get it on my desk. Um, I got White Scar and I'm just going to dry brush all of the white. So keep in mind that I've for the um, Army Painter White, I've actually already painted a little bit of the black, but 
um, I decide I'm going to dry brush the white. Um, and obviously the problem with dry brushing is you do get, it, it can look a little bit dusty and that's sort of still applied here. You would obviously be better layering it on, but the whole point of contrast paints generally is that we're, um, we're trying to do it for speed. But yeah, so um, I'm just going to dry brush that, dry brush it on all of them. I don't know if I filmed that or not, but I dry brushed it on all of them. Um, they all look a little bit dusty as dusty as each other, but obviously it starts making it all a little bit more white. And ultimately that effect of it after the dry brush, I actually don't mind. And then I simply paint the black on everything. Um, I don't think I did that on camera, so you might be looking at my face right now. Um, I paint the black on everything and... Uh, that's it. The black I really, really enjoyed because the black sort of naturally um, highlights it. I actually really like contrast paints as a whole, I think. I'm just not sure white is the best color to try it with. Um, but yeah, I painted the black um, and I only used the contrast paints for the black. But I'm having a bit of a problem with the rim on the Stormtrooper helmet because the paints are quite watery um, by design. So when you try and do it on the helmet, sometimes it would either go above or below and it's quite difficult but it, I sort of found out if you took a lot of the wetness off the brush you could sort of just paint it on and I was I really enjoyed using them uh, because the paint kept it stayed wet it didn't dry on the brush very easily and as long as you didn't just pull it all on your brush and um, you could actually still do the fine details so I did all the masks and stuff like that um, just purely with those with the black and the white basically um, and yeah I actually um, when I look at them and I'll obviously show you a shot of all four when I look at them I think that they're okay like I, I think the dry brushing really sort of salvaged the whiteness of it um, and it can look a little bit um, dusty as I said it would be better if you layered it but we're trying to do it for speed if you're buying contrast paints you're generally doing this for speed and um I, w I really liked the black, as I said, I keep, I'm probably going to keep saying that, but I really liked the black because I think that's the effect that you're supposed to get on certain kinds of miniatures. I do think that the flat panels don't necessarily particularly work great for contrast paints, so Stormtroopers with the flat legs and stuff like that might not be the best, but with the dry brush, it at least looks passable. Like, honestly, I could take any one of these and put it on a table. Um, and from a distance, I, nobody would say anything. They look purely like Stormtroopers. Um, and for the speed, yeah, pretty all right. Um, I'm looking forward to using contrast paints of other colors, but for Stormtroopers, I actually think it's, it's okay. So let's go through each one and we'll just talk about my final thoughts. So for the pure white, I think the pure white probably is my favorite because it's the most white. <laughs> and that's what color I'm aiming for my Stormtroopers. Um, yeah, it's pure white. The grey didn't grey it too much. It left um, white on the highlights. It left grey on the, in the recesses. There are a couple of problems with the contrast. It, it does, like on the little rims of the legs, you know, the little highlighted raised areas on the legs, sometimes you'd get an unnatural grey splotch on that. Fine, you'd probably get that with a wash, so I can't really complain too much. Um, but I've got to say, I really like it. Like at the top of the arms, um, yeah, I really like the grey recessing there. Because uh, the grey, the apothecary white, is sort of grey blue. And um, yeah, I think it's a really nice effect. Um, I would, if you highlight it up properly, I think you could sort of use it as a wash and maybe be better. Well, I think a grey wash would sort of give you the same effect, which I actually do own. But um, I'm not going to complain. I don't think Apothecary White is particularly designed for this. It's probably designed more for like cloth and that kind of stuff or um, cool, better surfaces. But pure white, Apothecary White over it, dry brush pure white again, do the black. You, I mean, you've got a decent looking. Uh, miniature. And moving on to the the um, Corax White. Corax White and the new Gracia, very similar um, in grey tone. Um, I suspect the only difference here on my visuals will be the fact that um, how much I dry brushed it and where I dry brushed it, etc. Um, but you get the same kind of effect. It's more grey than the white, um, than the pure white. Obviously, the white of the dry brush really helped. I would be, I mean, I think you could probably just do um the gracia or um corax white and then dry brush it a pure white i feel like that might give you a similar effect that might be something that i actually do but um honestly the the blending i say blending obviously i've not like wet blended or anything but the differences between the highlights and the recesses on both the um corax white one and the um gracia i'm actually pretty happy with i think they look um pretty decent I'm, I said I prefer the white because they're more white, but um, I would not be again. I would not be too displeased by seeing um, by seeing that on the table. And then moving on to the wraithbone, the wraithbone I think is potentially going to be my all-time favorite for 
other models, but I, I, I think maybe not white. I think maybe Wraithbone will be fantastic for um, your natural warm coloured like flesh, that kind of stuff, people's faces, um, you know, maybe um, monsters, beasts, like dewbacks and tontons and stuff like that. I think Wraithbone with a particular colour over it, oh, I think that could be very nice indeed. Um, and the, it looks fine on its own. You think, oh, that looks white. When I compare it to the other ones, because of the cream undertone, um, it does actually look a little bit, um, a little bit yellower than the rest. But um, honestly, again, from a distance, from like a couple of foot on the table, uh, you're not really going to notice that. I mean, can I? I'll show you it. Me, right? The difference there. Can you can't really tell the difference in whiteness there. They're very similar. Um, yeah, but close up, I can say, well, this one looks a little bit gray yellow. This one looks a bit more white. And that's, that makes sense. That's the pure white. That's the Wraith Bone. But honestly, from a couple of feet, uh, that effect is more than fine. Time-wise, it's not very long. Obviously, you've got your base color and you're taking your mold lines off and all that kind of stuff if you do that. Um, if you've primed it with a spray, you don't have to brush on. I would not, if you're going to do an entire army, I would not buy these. I would not prime them, then buy these. And then, um, you know, and then paint it i would buy the spray paint you probably ne then need to buy these because they are the contrast paints are quite runny so if you do the black bit and then it blends into the white bit in theory you're supposed to go over with the original color then go over with the white and um, but for the considering i dry brushed this i actually just whenever that happened i just went over with the actual pure white normal paint but yeah i would say if you're gonna do stormtroopers and and you really wanted to do this effect I would say either just use your Corax white if you've got it, use pure white if you've got it. If you really wanted to buy into the Citadel contrast system, Gracie probably is the best of the two for Stormtroopers particularly. Buy the spray, give it the uh, Apothecary white. I would say buy the dry brush white. I think you'll probably want to buy that because um, they are they are grey. <laughs> Basically, there's no getting around it. They are grey. Uh, the black is fantastic. I really like the black. The black gives me hope that this that's how it's supposed to work you put the black over this sort of like high whitish base color and then you get highlights and you get your recesses and that's pretty sweet i like that effect and um, because what i was doing was i was painting it dark gray um washing gray and then doing a black wash on the on the black and that would give you a similar effect so if that's all you've got still feel free to use that it's not revolutionary i think it's possible it's i enjoyed using the blacks particularly and um, i think i will enjoy using these paints they are more expensive they're five pound a pop um, if you already have an existing set of paints, I would say just keep using them, keep going with the system you've got. The difference in time isn't really that much. And time-wise, as I said, if I spray, spray this one white, apothecary white over it, dry brush white, do the detail with the black, you're looking, I mean, 10, 15 minutes a model, if that, maybe. I didn't count, but it wouldn't take that long. And honestly, it's, de it's decent. That is actually pretty decent. I've got no qualms with that. I got no qualms with that. It saves you them um, watering down your null oil with um, the medium or something like that or water. So yeah, all in all, I, I ho hopefully you've seen the, the pictures in my video. Hopefully everything's worked fine. Um, I think it looks fine. I think they look perfectly reasonable. Um, I, I, I do think that grey can perhaps look a little messy because you're not just done it in the recesses. But I think that's the effect you're always going to have either with a, um, a wash or these contrast paints. They're going to splotch in various areas. And then the quality of your miniature really depends on how you rectify that. Either you're going to go over it, you're not going to go over it at all, in which case you're going to have that issue, or you're going to go over it like with in layering it up, which is the standard best approach, best approach, or you're going to dry brush it for speed. And it's your, it's your call. Do what you want, basically. And uh, yeah. There you go. So that's the, the the one and only contrast video. He says, we'll see if anything else uh, comes up. I, I might end up doing Dubax or Tontons in the contrast paint, but we'll see about that. If you like this video, do like. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you're interested in Star Wars Legion stuff, please do subscribe as that helps. <laughs> um, either way, though, have a most beautiful day and goodbye.